A lot of patients ask me when's the best time to have their hip replacement surgery. It's a simple enough question, but it's not always straightforward to answer. Here's an example. I saw a patient recently who I first met 20 years ago. Back then I told her it's likely she'd need to have a hip replacement within a year or two. How wrong could I have been? If you've got a painful hip, then you know exactly how awful it can be. Every step you take is agonising. Washing and dressing yourself feels like climbing a mountain and you're awake all night. When it gets to this point, then it's obvious that surgery needs to be done as soon as possible. But what if the pain isn't too bad? Lots of people tell me that they can manage their symptoms pretty well most of the time. If they overdo things, then their hip will let them know about it for a few days. Sooner or later though, the hip will probably get worse and they'll need to have surgery. But they're happy to put up with it for the time being. But it's not just the physical symptoms that affect the timing of surgery. If you're working, you'll need to arrange time off and think about a phased return to work. If you live on your own or you have a partner who isn't able to help you very much whilst you recover, then you'll need to recruit family, friends and neighbours to help out. Planning ahead will make you feel much more confident about having surgery. When I see you in clinic for a consultation, I ask you about your symptoms and how they affect your life. We talk about the things that you really enjoy doing and what you'd like to be able to do if your hip weren't stiff and painful. We discuss the different options for treatment, ranging from things like trying to lose a bit of weight, taking painkillers and avoiding the activities that aggravate the pain. For many people, that's all they need and they're happy to wait and see. More than often though, by the time you get to see me, you've tried all of those things and the only solution really is to have surgery. Even if you don't want to have the operation done in a private hospital, then at least you'll know the diagnosis and the options available. I hope that this helps you decide what's best for you. Please get in touch if you'd like to know more. Thanks for watching.